Saints Row has been a great franchise so far. I think that a lot of people were really looking forward to a new entry in the franchise because of how much love there is behind it. But unfortunately, it seems like Saints Row will never be the same because Volition announced a new game in the series, yet it's not what fans expected because it's a game to make politically correct statements. It's supposed to be more with the times, and there's already been a ton of backlash surrounding the first trailer. It truly does not look good, and that sucks to say because Saints Row has so much love behind it. It's a franchise that a lot of people really do like, but this isn't what fans wanted. But before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via direct donations. All of the links are in the description and of course I do really appreciate all of the support. So we're going to start off with this PC Gamer article. It says the Saints Row reboot won't be as edgy as its predecessors. Volition wants to tell a contemporary story that people can relate to. I really just don't think a lot of people were playing the first couple of Saints Row games so that they could relate to the story and the characters. We were playing them because they were fun and exaggerated action. So it says Saints Row is getting a complete reboot, and it's just called Saints Row. All those wacky antics from the four previous games, like diving into computers, killing zombies, becoming president, and ruling the world with superpowers? None of that ever happened in Saints Row's new American uh, Southwest-inspired world. This time around, the Saints crew is a close-knit group of four young friends, each with their own area of expertise. There's a planner and business mind, an expert expert driver, a DJ and smooth talker, and the slightly off the rails boss, that's you. As the boss, you can still create a completely custom character that's big or small, young or old, and anywhere in between. Now here's a larger screenshot so that you can see all of the characters up close and personal, and in my opinion, they look boring. These characters don't look like a group of exciting people I'd want to play a video game as. They look like hipsters you'd see in a Starbucks waiting to order their mocha chai tea latte with extra whipped cream. They just do not look appealing at all in my opinion. I'm not looking at them going, oh hell. Heck yes, I cannot wait to play a video game as these characters. I just, I do not think they're very unique and original. They sound pretty generic. And the trailer for this game just was so boring. The enemies looked way cooler than the characters you're supposed to be. So going back to the previous article that I was reading, it says what's probably not returning is the exact tone of humor that players might remember from Saints Row 3 and 4. The humor that helped make the franchise popular, may I add. It says I remember laughing often at Saints Row the 3rd when I played it, but it took some googling to remember just how embarrassingly edgy the writing was. Between memorable set pieces and lovable characters were moments of casual sexism and homophobia within its main cast and beyond, the sort of stuff that I breezed by in the media when I was a dumb 15-year-old. This is a game aimed towards adults, so yeah, it's gonna make some jokes that some people don't find funny, but we're talking about an ad adult video game. We're not talking about a video game that young, impressionable kids are supposed to be playing. We're talking about a game that's always been pretty freaking edgy, and now they don't want it to be that way. Now they want to look towards the future, be more with the times, create a contemporary story that people can really mesh with. 1, 2, and 3 were GTA's little brother, basically, and then 4 was like this sci-fi, over-the-top action game with aliens, and in the end, you go to hell. They should have gone in the direction of either GTA again or super over-the-top sci-fi, yet they're completely reverting as if this is a brand new franchise. Saints Row isn't a franchise for political correctness. Imagine if Rockstar came out and said GTA 6 will be for the new age and represent today's morals, aka today's woke SJW agendas and narratives which will not sell games. These people do not know what their fans want. Now I want to head over to another article by Sankaku Complex which says Volition stands behind new game, condemns backlash as hate. 
This is a giant mistake that tons of companies make. When people are criticizing your product, that's good because that means they care about your franchise and they care about your company. We're not criticizing it to see it fail. We're criticizing it so that you can do better in the future. Yet, of course, they're saying, oh my gosh, all of this backlash is just hate. All of these toxic fans are coming out of the woodworks to attack our project, which is ridiculous. So it says the malcontent for the new Saints Row game has continued to grow as developer Volition has released another new trailer that has generated more negative reception as um, most Western companies and studios are most inclined to do in the current era. Volition decided to fire back at those daring to criticize them. Upon the release of the initial trailer, uh, reactions were mixed and many ardent fans of the series expressed their disappointment for the reboot. This does look really disappointing. A lot of people just are not very impressed with it, and I agree. I am not going to purchase this. I have no interest in it. It looks like a game that's clearly meant to be aimed towards people that like to play games like Fortnite. It just, it has that feel to it. It just feels so PC. It feels so dumbed down compared to the other games. It just, it doesn't look good in my opinion. It says the new Saints Row Welcome trailer has the uh, developers sharing their thoughts and opinions, received similar bad reception and more chiding comments. People are saying things like this game is going to split the entire fan base. But of course, Volition decided to do the worst thing possible, and that's insult fans. It says Volition has taken notice of the backlash against their new game and responded in typical fashion, calling their fans haters. This is such a low and pathetic move for developers to make. It says they still hope, of course, that these fans will stick around and buy their game, but somebody tweeted at them and said, I know you won't listen, but if you want fans to stop complaining and giving y'all crap, maybe just replace these clowns and give us the real Saints. And of course, on the official Saints Row Twitter account, they responded with a gif that says, haters gonna hate with a bunch of characters dancing. And the person who originally tweeted at them responded with, if anything, I'm not a hater. I've been defending you guys since people called you a GTA clone, which wasn't true at all. Now I feel like I wasted my time defending you guys, and they responded again by saying we are not backing down on this game. We get it. It's new, and it's a shock reaction to a reboot like no other. The GIF was supposed to convey that. And the um, original poster said, so way to fucking go. Looks like y'all just hate the people who bought your games, made it successful, and made it possible for the series to continue and they responded again it's not even like they responded on the official saints row account once they did three times they said we are not backing down on this it's brand new we get the knee-jerk reaction no one has rebooted like this before we have lots more to show i just don't think a lot of people are gonna show up to see what else you have to show because the initial trailer was bad and your responses to the situation have been awful when you're a group of developers and you start to insult people who are just being critical of your product of course we're not going to show up to buy your crappy game and that's not going to happen here i know a lot of people are already saying they're not going to give this a try they have no interest whatsoever and i just think a lot of people who would have purchased it are going to pass on it it says not only is uh, volition hyping up characters that there would be customers have called hipsters two sources have confirmed that the studio is also taking the series in a new direction for current year while writing off their older incredibly popular games as products of their time which is awful these games were the ones that made the series popular so you think they'd want to stay on track with that they'd want to continue to make games that are similar but of course no no they just want to be with the times and create new pieces that people can relate to I've been a fan of Saints Row for a very long time now, but the initial trailer for this was awful. The characters do not look interesting at all, and the worst part of this situation is that Volition decided to go out and attack fans who are just being critical of their new product. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you did make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.